Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today we are going to do a tag video. I was tagged by the beautiful Mary Ellen and her channel is called Sensational After 60. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. I have become very good friends with her. Um, she just is such a sweetheart to watch. Um, I will put her link down below and you can go and check her out, show her some love, and maybe subscribe to her channel also. So um, this is a tag. It is called Just One. I believe that's what it's called. So this is a video on um, the Just One thing. Like if, if you could only have one of these items, um, which one would you pick if there was just one? Trust me, very hard. Very, very hard because... There is numerous products that I love very much, and it was so hard for me to pick and choose through some of them. Um, some were easier than others, and um, but some were harder than, than the others. And so let's get started. I believe there is 10 questions, and then there's like a bonus one that you can answer. Um, I will say I will tag all of you that are watching that might want to do it or who hasn't done it yet. Um, I will put the questions and everything down below also for you to check out. And um, yeah, I'd love to see what, what everybody else picks out too. I've been enjoying <clears throat> seeing everybody else and their videos, so. All right, so the first question is lipstick. Can you imagine me picking just one lipstick? Not really, but I guess if I had to pick one, and wait, let me just tell you. It was hard, 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 hard. But I got to thinking, I thought, what one lipstick do I seem to, I don't know, I, I don't know if I wanna say <clears throat> gravitate to a lot. I mean, I haven't used it within the last few months or whatever, but um, I, I don't know, like, it, it seemed like whenever in the summertime or just anything, like, I just, I just grabbed this lipstick quite a bit. And it's been used a lot, so um, I figured, yeah, I, I like the whole concept of it. Now, whether you can still get it, I'm not sure you might be able to, but it's from Laura Geller, um, one of her lipsticks. And this one is in Caribbean Kiss is what it's called. So I'll show you that there. Now, you might be able to get it on her site, I'm not sure, but what I always loved about this lipstick, which you can see, it's pretty well loved lipstick, <laughs> but it's two-sided. There's two different colors. There's a little bit of a more darker color, and then on the other side, it's more of a lighter color. Um, so I have really loved this lipstick for that fact, and I love the color, and her lipsticks are very nice and smooth and creamy, So, and you can use just this color or this color or you can combine them together and um, I think that's what I ended up loving so much about it so there are the two different colors that you get um, so I just I absolutely love this you can top one or the other on the other it doesn't matter if you want to use more of the pinky tone and then the bronzy tone but that's what is right there and you can see how shine like it has a shine to it um i'm hoping i can get because i will i would repurchase another one i, I th the color just looks really good on me whenever i have worn it so so that's my lipstick lip gloss another one <laughs> that was extremely hard for me to pick but i i i actually have it on and i know my honey my kitty okay you're going to go up there. Um, but I do have it on, and I know it looks like kind of a neutrally kind of a color, you know, like nothing major, major. But I just love it because it's very flattering, and it's um, it's just been always one of my favorite lip glosses. And it's from Mally Beauty, and it's one of her High Shine uh, lip gloss lipsticks. It's like a lipstick and a lip gloss kind of a thing. Um, and this one is in Blossom. And the Blossom color just has always been my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. <laughs> so I said it was so hard because I love the orchid color too. There's an orchid one. Because you know me and uh, my purples. But 
These lip gloss lipsticks are just amazing. I've given them as gifts for a lot of people because I just find them so versatile and just gorgeous to, to wear. So there's Blossom right there, the lip gloss. Beautiful shine in that to it. Whoops, sorry about that. And that is what I have on my lips. I will put a little bit more. You should see my cat. My cat's over on the counter over there, just or on a bookcase, just trying to get into everything he can get into. But yeah, just love these. And they always smell like candy to me. A certain candy. Can't figure it out still. Quite. Okay, number three is a blush, which that was hard to pick. Because um, there is like quite a few blushes I really do like. But one of my favorite blush line is by Tarte Cosmetics. They have some of my favorite blushes. Um, so does Laura Geller. Um, Alright, I'm back. You know my kitty. He like wants in here, then he wants out of here, then he wants in here, and then he wants out of there, you know, but I think he wants me to get him something on top of it all, so, but anyway, we were talking about blush, the Just One, just one blush, it was a Tarte blush, and I was saying about how I do enjoy Laura Geller's blushes, and, um, but Tarte, Tarte is my most favorite, it seems like, I just, I, I feel like Tarte's probably my most favorite blushes of all, um, if, if I had to pick a top five, of course, Laura Geller would be in there like second or so, and I'd, I'm not sure what the other ones would quite be yet, to be honest. But um, I just love Tarte's blushes. This one came in a kit several years back, and it's called Fearless. Um, I'm thinking they still have this color. It's like a beautiful pinky coral color, but it has a nice um, sheen to it, so, I mean don't necessarily need highlighter um, if you would put this on. It is just a beautiful corally pink color. That's so up my alley. This is my... I love pink blushes, but I seem to gravitate a lot to these colors. So, um... So, I'll put, show you on my hand here. Right there. That's just beautiful. So I think it would really go with anything anyway, but I just love Tarte's blushes. I have quite a few of them, and I tend to try to get some more if I can. Um, an eyeshadow, a single eyeshadow. It came down to two, because I wasn't really sure. And I'll be honest, I'll tell you what the other one, what, what the two were. Well, I'll tell you what the one was that I didn't pick. Um, one was the Nutty from Wet n Wild. It's a beautiful taupey kind of a color, and I do love that shit because I think it just is perfect for, you know, anything like that. But the, I just fell in love with this eyeshadow. There's so many eyeshadow colors I fell in love with. I'm not, you know, but this one I fell in love with from Urban Decay, and this is their old packaging, and I got it in a single, plus it's in some of their palettes too. See there he is meowing now. But it's Maui Wowie. <laughs> it's the name of it. And I feel like this is just brightens up the eyes very I don't know, it's very flattering on my eyes though too on top of it all. But it's just for like anybody kinda is a nice bright color. It has a nice metallic y um I don't even know what color you'd want to say. It's just gorgeous. I have always loved this color and I just feel like it would be perfect just to put all over on the eye and some mascara, eyeliner, lipstick, whatever, good to go. I mean, you know, I think it would brighten up the eye very nicely. So um, that would be my just one single if I had to pick. Uh, eyeshadow palette. Oh, this is another hard one, but I thought it was going to be easy, then I had thought another eyeshadow palette. Um, 
but I picked this one and the funny thing is I really I've had I had it for a good while and you know as you start collecting makeup and doing these videos of different stuff it's like some things get set aside and you don't really get to fully use them well when I start doing which I'm planning on gonna try to work into uh, maybe Monday makeup picks because I felt like that kind of connected me with some um, products and either I got to try something I didn't get to try it or it was like items that I had kind of forgotten maybe used once kind of a thing so this palette I had to pick because I just feel it would be the best palette to have if you could only get get and pick just one palette is the Laura Pro palette and yeah it's I mean the colors you know of course are gorgeous in the palette I mean everybody's seen this palette um, and I mean I think it's great because you'll have your mattes and your shimmers I mean there's equal value of both um, you could do a simple look with um, just a whole matte eyeshadow on your eye um, you can do a whole um, metallic or um, the shimmer colors just on your eye you can do a whole matte look using a couple colors same with the um, shimmer colors or use a matte and a shimmer it just it's so versatile there's so many options and um, so that's why I picked this one I don't have which darn why didn't I pick my mega pro because that has some purples in it well anywho I'll stick with this one here though I should have done mega pro but um, I don't have the second one and I, I want to get the second one now. I have fallen in love with Lorac Pro, but I also want the Unzip palette and I want the one in gold too. I want the new one that came out, so I'm going to try to see. I don't know when that will be. Um, someday, one day. So that's an eyeshadow palette. Uh, mascara, easy peasy for me. Easy, 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 easy. It would be Mally's uh, Voluminous uh, Mascara. It by far is the best mascara I have ever used, found, or anything. To this day, still nothing matches it. I mean, I, I've fallen in love with other mascaras and used them and like how they work. But if I had to pick just one, it would definitely be Mally's Voluminous uh, Mascara, no doubt. This is uh, still from her Christmas collection, which... I still have like sometimes when you get her collections it's nice like that because there was like three that came in there and I used up one but then I've been using other mascaras so I have two left and they're good and I mean like as long as you don't open them they're good for you know forever as much as I know from what she made it sound like anyway so and I haven't opened this one and this is my favorite mascara so that one was easy foundation tad bit hard because I do love some Mally foundations mm, but you know if I had to pick just one and it was almost like I, I kind of really knew which one I would gravitate to though and it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, foundation this is a great coverage foundation it covers very well um, it's perfect for somebody with oily skin, dry skin, it's just, you know, all, all over the place. And this has been a great foundation. I even have a backup, so, I mean, that tells you how much, you know, I got it with one of my kits. I, I love this foundation, so it would be the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, facial Cleanser. That one was so easy, and it's so crazy and funny because... It's a new cleanser that I had just got, did a review on, it was sent to me in a little sample, but I have fallen in love with it, and I think it is a great, phenomenal facial uh, cleanser to take makeup off, or just even to use as a cleanser itself, and that is the um, Key West Aloe Gent Gentle Aloe Facial Cleanser. I had done a whole review and everything on, that, on this, and I am planning on getting a full size. There's a couple products that I want to get from them, and it just smells yummy, citrusy. Um, it it is just a wonderful, wonderful cleanser. If you have not checked out their site, anybody that loves um, a citrus smell, 
maybe you love the Key West, Florida area, um, you know, or you are tired of this winter weather and you want to get something that's more tropical smelling and just all that, I would definitely say check out Key West Aloe. They have so many things. They have hair care, face care, um, skin care, just all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll put some of those links down below. But it was just so easy because I had fallen in love with this. This is a favorite. I mean, I never thought. I love my purity. But I think this topped it somewhat, somehow. <laughs> just that. I love it. Okay, so facial cleanser. Um, powder and bronzer. Powder slash bronzer, which I'm going to do both. Powder and bronzer. This is not a powder but it's considered as a setting powder. And it's Mally's um, Ever Poreless Face Defender. If I had just one setting kind of a product to set my makeup, it would be the Face Defender. This is the most amazing stuff you can ever have. And it is just so crazy of how um, it makes your pores and everything just disappear and it makes your face look just so nice and flawless. And um, this one would be the one that I would pick if I if I had to have something to set my makeup. It would be the Poreless Face Defender. Um, and then bronzer, my in-laws actually sent me this. And it is from the Bourjois. Is that how you say it? I know Canada they probably have uh, Bourjois products. Um, Bourjois Paris, or is that something how they say it? Um, Delicio, de, I will butcher it. I will, I will butcher it. Um, but it is a bronzing powder. I think I was trying to see tanned skin is what it says. Anyway, um, am I, no, am I opening it the right way? Good gracious, Lori. And hello. This totally reminds me of the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. And beings, it has cocoa in it, so it has that cocoa scent. Um, I don't know, just, I love the smell of this one here too. But this is the color that you get from it. And there it is right there. So you can see it's not on the orangey side. It is a nice bronzer, very nice bronzer. Obviously, you're not going to put it on that thick, but it's a nice bronzer, really good. Now, if you ever want to get uh, bourgeois products, you can go online. You can go on Google and search it, and there's a couple places where you can order it. Um, because, you know, like, now my in-laws probably could send me some more of these if I do want any, or I could order online. It's whatever, you know. Um, I had actually had two of these, and I gave one to my daughter because um, she always loves a good bronzer and so if there was one bronzer it would be this one um, it's, it's one of my favorite bronzers I like I really well I kind of love my Kat Von D one that I had gotten and I do love the Chocolat Soleil but this one is pretty good color and um, it's not like the orangey color so um, oh nail polish that one was easy peasy too because I'm not a huge nail polish person. However, my favorite color is purple and I had gotten this in my L'Oreal, one of my L'Oreal parties that I had. And this is in the color uh, Royality Reinvented, Reinvented. Oh, okay. Royal, Royality Reinvented. That's what I want to say. And it's from the L'Oreal collection ones like this and it's just a beautiful lilac-y purpley color so yeah this would be as you can tell I got purple one yeah I got my nails done this dark purple it's an OPI nail polish I won a giveaway from one of the beauty youtubers and it was like a little mini set of these little OPIs and there's some pretty nice colors in there and of course purple was one of them so like, but if I had to pick one it would be this one here I just love that color of purple and then my little bonuses that I added in there. Did I add just two? No, three. I was going to say I thought I had three. Two skincare, one hair. For hair, just one thing, and I will repurchase over and over, is 
Jane Carter Solution um, Wrap and Roll. Oh my god, is this stuff amazing. It is a huge container. Um, it is a mousse. It's crazy because you can see it looks clear in there. And it is a mousse and it smells... Mm, oh, I, I love the smell. Not everybody's going to like the smell, but it's a florally smell. But mm, I just love it. And I love this stuff. I usually put it in after I put my curl cream or any of that kind of stuff. kind of sets my hair a little bit. And it's just a really awesome product. You can use it so many different ways. Highly recommend checking out Jane Carter if you never have for hair care. Especially for those that have wavy, frizzy, or curly hair or any of that kind of stuff. Um, another product you've heard me talk about millions of times now. But I love this product and I had to add it. If I had one moisturizer, it would be the Mario Badescu uh, Ginseng Moist Cream. It would be this one here. This is like one of the best face creams that I have really enjoyed. It has no spectacular smell. I mean, it just smells like all natural kind of a smell is the best way I could put it. And I just love it. So um, that would I'm, I'm definitely going to repurchase that. And then another product. This isn't for everybody neither, but I love it. And it's from the Freeman Collection. It is the Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. I love this mask. I mean, it's like four bucks for it in Walmart, or around four bucks. And it's a purifying mask. I'll be with you, honey. It's a purify, purifying mask. Um, even it says back here, no parabens. I didn't even see that. Uh, it's a Lore Beauty winner of 2013. And it is just, um, you know, like a sugar based uh, facial scrub. I mean, like, I know some people might not like it because it, I mean, honestly, it kind of can be more hard hardcore with because the sugar, like, it's, it's kind of, I don't know if I'm going to say scratchy, kind of scratchy, but it's not, it doesn't irritate my skin, so it's not going to be for everybody, but it makes my skin so soft, smooth, wonderful, um, it just feels like, you know, like my skin's reborn again, I guess is what I'm going to say. And now it says on here all skin types, but I know some have had problems with it. So like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. I don't think I would recommend for somebody with acne prone skin because it might irritate, you know, the acne and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely repurchase. So that is it. That is all. I was trying to hurry up and get this all on here with my cat meowing away and all that kind of stuff. So I did good time. Okay, so I will put Mary own link down below and other links and everything else. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also would love to have you um, subscribe if you would join me. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Gotta get my kitty. So until the next time, beauties, you take care, and I will see you again. Bye-bye. Love you.